will do something. He will orchestrate something. He will shift things around. He will move people around. He will shift nature. He will shift country. He will shift positions. Oh my goodness me. He will shift things to put you back into position. Welcome to the Everlasting Arms Ministries, the hour of power with Pastor Coyote of Willoughby. May God bless you. Let's bless him. Come on, come on, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, exalt his name, exalt his name. Because you can imagine, do you know that in some certain places, some people gather together before the lockdown they were unable to come back together again. Some people were there when it all started and some people are no more today. And that's when we give him praise. This is the first service where we have even whether they reduce numbers according to the regulations, at least the first time we're reopening the church. And I think it's just a new beginning. It's a time to praise the Lord, to exalt his holy name. He's a mighty God. He's a wonderful Father. He's a King of Kings. He's a Lord of hosts. He's ancient of days. The young, that are young. Blessed in the name of the Lord. I, I, I just want you to begin to exalt Him. Just begin to praise Him. Just lift up your hands before the Lord and magnify Him. Glorify Him. Exalt Him. Praise Him. For, 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 for He's a mighty God. Oh, bless you, Lord. You are holy. Just worship him with that one. And forever, and forever you are God. God. Oh, bless you, Lord. Bless, bless you, Lord. Lord. You are holy. Holy Lord. And forever you are God. And forever you are God. Hallelujah. I think it's a time to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Of Just begin to press the thanksgiving service. Sort of. 
So I'm going to ask Pastor Bumi to get me the second one time to, to this podium. Because to keep social distance, I'm going to invite Pastor Lai to make stand with me. And just exhort him. Praise. Just praise. Just praise. Just praise. Just wash him. Begin to wash him. You are the Lord of us. You are the ancient of days. You are the I am that I am. You are the everlasting king. You are the rock of ages. There is none like you. There is none beside you. Before you, there was none, and after you, there will be none. Today we acknowledge you. We thank you. Lord Almighty God, because you kept us safe and so far, Lord Almighty God. We know that he that began a good thing, you are more than able to finish them. We thank you, Lord Almighty God, Father Jehovah God, that you're not allowed to suffer losses, Lord. In this church, we thank you, Lord Almighty God, and we also bless your name for those people who have passed by, who are gone because of this trouble, this COVID. That in this lockdown, but Father, we thank you for the families that left behind, but we know that God, you will sustain them. We want to thank you in the everlasting ministries, Lord Almighty God, for keeping us safe, everyone, Lord. That you do not allow any one of us to be lost. Not allow any of our children to be lost. Neither the wives nor the husband died. Father, we give you glory in the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty God, since the lockdown, this begin, this marks the first day, Lord, when the church has been reopened, Lord, since that time. My Lord and my God, I'm asking for a new thing, a new beginning. I didn't hear you. I'm asking for a new beginning. And Lord Almighty God, that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let your name be glorified. Let your name be blessed, Lord Almighty God. Bless us as we're well in the season of blessing too. Bless us mightily in the name of Jesus. Lord, sanctify this building. Sanctify the ground. Sanctify our heart. Sanctify our soul. Sanctify our spirit. Sanctify our destiny. Sanctify our marriages. Sanctify our children. Sanctify the partners, Lord. Father, let your name be glorified. Do something new with our lives. Lord Jehovah God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every contrary power and forces Every strength disease, Lord, become monument objects of no value. Let be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. Even Lord Almighty God, while this restriction is still going on, or the disease is moving about, Father, keep us safe, Lord. Let your blood take over our blood. And let blessing be ours. In Jesus' name we are praying. And amen. amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this service, we're going to really sing and worship God. That's what we're going to do. But I'll just introduce you to this. For you to know, just even under the new series, we're going on the power of blessing. And I said that last Sunday, you must what? You must stay blessed. Uh, but the power of blessing also give us the grace for something which we're going to discuss briefly and we're just going to do what God wants us to do. And the reason why I invited Pastor Olam to the stage was why I invited on the stage is because so that we can minister together and all of us will do this together. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty God, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, the King of Glory will keep all of us safe in Amen. Jesus' name. While you take your seat, I want you to pray this prayer. That Father... Don't let my blessing be turned to a curse. Don't let my blessing be turned to a curse. Begin to ask the Lord that my blessing must not become a curse. My blessing must not become a curse. My blessing must not become a curse. My blessing must not become a cause. My blessing must not become a cause. I'm just going to speak to us briefly and then you understand why I invited her on the stage so that we would also worship God. We praise the Lord for his mighty God. Yes, Lord. We thank Him. We thank Him. Oh, yiggy, yiggy, oh. I love it. I love so
just want to give us the flavor. We're going to add the two flavors so that we'll go back to Africa also. And then we'll come back to worship the Lord in this place where we are also in this language. But before we do that, I just want you to open your Bible to this place. I want you to see something. Because when we speak about the power of blessing, it's a mighty power, it's a glorious power. And I said before, the word blessing means the good word of God. God is bestowing his good word upon someone's life. The Bible says in the beginning there was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. It is this word that lighted all things that come into earth. It is in him that is life and this life is the light of all men. This light also is the life of all men and the light is also the light of all men. May our light not be snuffed out in Jesus' name. May our destiny not be shut down in the name of Jesus. And I said earlier on in the weeks before that men blessing means illogos. In other words, the good representing EU and logos means the word. And if you combine it together, it means the good word. And God is talking to us that when he said bless you, and we went to the book of Genesis in chapter 12, and even Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And when you created man, the first thing God gave to man is to bless them. And the Bible says, God blessed them. He blessed them so that man can be fruitful. Man can succeed. Man can continue to go forth. And I said earlier on that blessing is different from the fruit of blessing. Houses, cars are fruits of blessing. Blessing means power. Blessing means God inside you. Blessing means you are not moving with God. Hallelujah. In those days, I have to find the act. But people don't understand that God had blessed man to enable them. God gave you anointing to do extraordinary. Anointing to make it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 tells us about the real power of blessing. He said, when you come out, when you go inside, you go in blessed. You come out blessed. Do you know how many people live home blessed and they never return back blessed? May we not return back home with a curse in Jesus' name. Many people left their home with goodness, with joy. But when they were returning back, it was with sorrow. May we not return home with sorrow in the name of Jesus. Do you know many people have gone on a journey. They were happy. They were laughing and so on. But when they were returning back, they were crying. I remember a case of one young lady that were mentioned about that went to, uh, 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 I don't want to mention the name of the store, but went to one eating place and so on and bought snacks. And, 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 and they waited in, in, in the lounge and eventually they boarded the flight. And on the way, while they were bubbling, young little girl, intelligent, beautiful, they were going on holiday. They were going. And, and they were going on holiday towards Europe or something like that. And they were so happy. They believe they are blessed. They have to be blessed. God has blessed them. He gave them the fruit of blessing to even buy the ticket and so on. But you know what? When they left home that day, they were so happy. But you know what? When they were coming back, they returned back minus that girl. She died. Send the family into sorrow. So when you understand what God was saying in the book of John chapter 28, you, you will begin to just press him forever. He said, when thou goest out, you shall be blessed. When you are coming in, you shall be blessed. He said, the fruit of your house shall be blessed. He said, thy seed shall be blessed. He said, the fruit of body shall be blessed. He said, your hands shall be blessed. He said, I will bless the ground for you. Everything God was speaking, but man did not understand. He was not talking about just only cars, houses. Now he's telling you the power of blessing will produce something for you. Do you know to be joyful is a blessing? To be happy is a blessing. May we not lose the blessing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. May our blessing not be turned to a curse in Jesus' name. And I said it, that is why the devil waged war in Genesis chapter 3 to make sure he turned the blessing to a curse. The only thing he said that was going in for is to remove the power of blessing because this is something he craved for which he can never get. And as long as you are blessed, even if you're going to trouble, you'll come out. See what the Bible says, blessed is the man whom God did not impute any sin against. He had sinned, but God said, no, I'm setting the sin aside. The Bible said, blessed is the man. Look, when you go out and you come in, you are blessed. When you sleep and you wake up, you are what? You are blessed. I, I, I want you to understand this. That's why I said again that I'm a challenge of theology. 
Someone who is not born again can be blessed. God blessed and Ishmael also. He blessed people. It's because of the blessing of God that man is able to wake up in the morning. Because he's not entitled to a blessing in Jesus' name. And what the devil was looking for was to remove the blessing from Adam and Eve and replace it with a curse. And if you look at it, at the end of Genesis chapter 3, God issued a curse. And then the Bible says the man began to move on. And man moved into the good word of Lord. In fact, if you read the Bible very well, God was so sad that by the time he's getting to Genesis chapter 8, he had concluded that the men are so evil. This curse was just upon them. You can imagine, how can you be blessed and operate like a cursed person? Every bewitchment fashioned against my life and your life shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Tell somebody, stay blessed. We have to stay blessed at all costs. Amen. Tell your neighbor and say, stay blessed. Stay blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. God wants you to stay blessed. I need you to understand this because the devil don't want us to stay blessed. Because what? Blessing has power. Blessing is so potent. So potent that the devil is afraid for it. When a man is blessed, you will be amazed what can happen. He said, look, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. When you're in the ocean, you will not drown. When you go through the fire, he said, the fire will not come upon you. Because what? God will be with you. Once God bless you, God is what? With you. You don't understand what I'm saying. Blessing means the good word of God. The word of God. In other words, the word of God is with you. In other words, God is with you. The Bible says, because God was with Joseph. Even his master knew that this man is blessed. And the master said, because the blessing upon him, my household is also what blessed. When you move with a someone that is blessed, blessing will also, oh, blessing is contaminated. It can contaminate somebody. Blessing can, can, can influence people. If you move in an arena of someone who is blessed, you also get blessed. Amen. May curses not follow us about in Jesus' name. But one thing is that wherever you see blessing, curse will be hunting for it. Whenever you see light, darkness is hunting for it. And, and then the Bible says that God, and the Bible says God bless them. That's why I say He bless everybody, irrespective of who they are. The covenant of going to heaven is a different thing. But He bless them. And then when you look at this, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 9, verse 1, it said, God bless Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. And God bless. So the word and is saying something is coming from somewhere. And that's what he's saying. I said God is going to bless us. His blessing will not disappear in our lives in Jesus. Brethren, listen to this. When you read and God bless Noah, you will understand very well. Do you remember God has blessed every mankind to Adam before? The next place we're going to see this word is probably when you get into Genesis chapter 2, verse 3. Oh, Lord, bless the day. God bless the day and he sanctified the day. Our day are blessed in Jesus' name. The next place you see is Genesis chapter 5 in verse 2. Then when you next place you begin to see, and in Genesis chapter 5, he's still telling us about God blessed and he blessed mankind. So then trouble started. Problems started. I can tell you one thing. Anytime you know you're in trouble, begin to cry to God. God, where's my blessing? But every problem that man is facing on the face of the earth today, every war we are fighting is to terminate the blessing. Every war we are fighting means blessing is under attack. You must talk to God to rescue this blessing. Because it is what makes you, it is what protects you. There is transitional blessing. There is transformational blessing. There is exceptional blessing. There is deliverance blessing. The blessing is so magnificent, many, many kinds of blessing. And then you have the fruits of blessing. So when you begin to move, and then you get to this Genesis chapter 9, you'll be amazed what God said to him. And I want to show you something. And he said, and you, in verse 7, and you be ye fruitful, and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. But please, follow me to verse 2. I want to show you something. After God blessed Noah and his sons, say, my, my family and I shall remain blessed in Jesus' name. The word of God, the good word of God must not be terminated from our lives in Jesus' name. Say, I'm a carrier of divine blessing. 
and I must stay blessed. The power of blessing, say the power of blessing, shall remain with me. And you understand why we need to really thank God today. And then listen to this. Then the Bible says, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth. And upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. And if you go today, when an animal sees you, and you want the blessing of God, part of the blessing of God is what makes you bold in the days of danger. He said, when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, because thy rod and thy staff will make... Because God is with you. He that keeping me does not slumber, nor sleep. That's a blessing, man. You are sleeping, you are snoring. And the one who maketh the heaven and earth is your watchman. Are you not blessed? Oh my goodness, man. Tell somebody I'm blessed. And then listen to this. Said, Animals, when a snake sees you, snake run first. I'm telling you the truth. People do not know that. When an, any animal sees you, the first thing they want to do is to move away from you. Once they realize that you begin to run from them, they say you don't, they don't know, the, you don't know the power that you carry. It's, it's, have you ever watched these programs on the TV? National Geographic Scientific Discovery. It amazes me how these guys, in most cases, really have I seen any black man doing it. Most people, most of them, they're white people. They will go, they can take crocodile, they can take the most dangerous animals, they can talk to them, they can get them. And even if you watch some something, if I, if I watch something on, uh, I think it was American Got Talent, and, and I first of all switched off the TV instantly because I was getting on the theater. Then something said to me, Don't you understand that's even power? Do you think she's using more magic? Tell me whether this one is satanic. So I switch it on again, and I realized the woman is not satanic. But I don't know what she's using. A woman having rat as a pet, rat, it crawls on my skin. In fact, like I see, I'm jumping up where I'm sitting down. So what? And the rat will crawl over her body and so on. And she kisses the rat. And I'm saying, why is this woman not sick or ill or deceased? But yet, if the rat bites you, you remember in Nigeria, the rat can bite. You. Some people go to hospital because of that. They carry disease. But this is this same animal. Is that the one called Tokita? That every animal I've created, I've sanctified them. In other words, God is saying, I bless them for your use. But look, we have allowed the devil to take them over to use them against us. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, every animistic spirit being used to attack our destiny shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Because we are meant to have dominion over them. Blessing is dominion. When God said, the, and God bless them, then as a result of that, you'll be fruitful, you have dominion, you, have re, you can replenish, you can subdue the earth. It didn't say subdue man, subdue the earth. But listen to this. That woman was talking to a rat, and the rat was responding. I, I don't know about you if you don't understand what I'm saying. Okay, you capture a rat now. Go to one place that is rat infested, capture it, and put the rat down. Say, rat, come back. Say whether you will come back. But this woman had been able to have the power, the ability. This is what the Bible says in verse 2. And the fear of you and dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, upon every fowl of the air, upon all the movement upon the earth, upon the fish of the sea, into your hand, and they deliver. Say, all things are delivered into my hand. And hear this. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Hallelujah. My good name is say, I'm blessed. And listen, even as the green herb that I've given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. Don't eat blood. Don't be eater of flesh and then cast of blood. And surely your blood, your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every priest will I require it. And at the hand of man, and at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Who swore shed man's blood, but man shall his blood be shed. For the image, for in the image of God made he man. What does that mean? He says, Noah, I have blessed you. But I'm telling you one thing. Man will try to cause the blessing. They will try to kill the blessing. And because they know they can't, 
kill the blessing. They will try to kill you so that the blessing is wasted. Say, my blessing shall not be wasted in Jesus. So God was speaking something to him. But listen to this before we begin to worship God. Now, he says this, he said, and you, say, and me, be ye fruitful. Is that an apology? Is that an appeal? It's a command. And you, be ye fruitful. Because why? You are blessed. Say, because I'm blessed. And multiply. Say, multiply. Multiply what drain the Bible says for God has come Christ has come so that man can have life and have it what more abundantly. What is Christ? Word of God. Blessing. Christ means what? Blessing. It's a, it's a meaning for what is inside you. We deliver the people from all their sin. That's a blessing. It will set them free. It's a blessing. It will change their story. It's a blessing. He said, all the battles they've been battling for generation upon generation from Genesis chapter 3, I will reverse it. I will make it sure that now they have the eternal way. They have the past to come home. Which the devil is trying to block. I want to understand that the battle so far is a battle between God and Satan. The devil can't go back home and he doesn't want anybody to go. Here what the Bible says, he said, hell was not created for any one of us. But the Bible says it enlarges his mouth because while the devil is looking for companions, he said, I'm not going there. Because when you are blessed, blessed is the man whom God did not what? Require his sins. He did not impute any sin against him. That's why you know David is a blessed man. Now, now, blessing and blessing has power. Blessing has what power? Jesus Christ moved. They said this man was caught in the act of adultery and about to stone her dead. Before they came out, Christ was waiting in the synagogue. He went to that area. The disciples don't know why he went there very early in the morning. When the time came, he stepped out to bless the woman. Look. Because the woman is blessed, they could not kill her. And they reverse every judgment upon her life. You can check the book of Ruth also. What killed the others, you will live for it because why? You are blessed. Amen. Oh, now, 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 listen to this. And not only that I'm blessed, my son is also blessed. My son, 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 my children are blessed. My seeds are blessed. Hear what the Bible says. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I behold, I will establish my covenant with you. What is that covenant? That blessed. And with your seed and after you. If you don't understand what I'm saying about that, what is this covenant? If you look at it very well, when you read everything, every living creature is with you on the fall of the cattle, every beast of the earth and everything, and they continue saying it, God said everything. But you, must understand something happened before this time. Because of our time, I'll just go into chapter 8 and say, show you something. And I'll paraphrase some of the story. When man's evil became so high, and the beast and Satan had taken over, and the whole earth was in trouble, God decided that it's time to clear the earth. That it will cost the earth totally again. And you know, God can do it because he knows that he can recreate them back. It had happened before and he recreated it. He used water also to bring it back to life. This time around, he will use the other side of water to destroy it. What do I mean by that? Water is a representation of peace. Water is a representation of the spirit, the pure spirit. But when you see the other side of water, it becomes a flood. The flood represents the, 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 the manifestations of the demons of hell. If you see flood, you see that it was turbulent. So God used the other side and rent open the heaven and turned them, and everything came. And the Bible says, before then, God began to speak to Noah. And he told Noah, make an ark. And Noah went into underworld lockdown. Hallelujah. Noah was in a lockdown. God locked down the entire earth. 
but put Noah inside the ark of the covenant. What is that? Then when you look at it, you understand that Noah is what? Is blessed. While the whole earth was being caused, the blessings surrounded Noah, the covenant held Noah. And the Bible said, God put Noah inside this ark. And then when the time came, because the Bible says so, that the anchor of God is not what forever. It's but for what? A moment. A moment may be one year, two years, three years, ten years, but in heaven it's a moment. Tell somebody, don't write me off yet. And then the Bible says to me, in chapter 8, and this is what you're going to pray for. One prayer I want to pray. There are two prayers you pray in this service. But the first one is this. And God remember Noah. And every living thing and all the cattle be that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. And the waters assuaged. The fountain also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from all the earth continually. And after the end of the 150 days, the waters were abated. And the ark rested in the seventh month. And on the seventh day of the month, and upon the month of Ararat, more goodness me. If you look at it, even if you count the whole month, seventh month is last month. You are in the eighth month now. This is the time to come out. Tell somebody, my blessing is manifesting. I'm coming out of lockdown. I'm coming out of this spiritual imprisonment. I'm coming out of bewitchment. I'm coming out of curses. I'm stepping into my blessing. Say, Father, remember me. Open the book of remembrance for my family and I. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to pray now as the Lord. And go remember Noah. Father, remember me and my family. Remember me and my church. Remember me and my household. Remember me, Lord. Remember me and my children. Remember us. Remember our hands. Remember our soul. Remember our spirit. Remember our destiny. Tell the Lord to remember you. Go remember Noah. How much more? You now, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are the God of covenant. Remember me, Lord. Remember my son. Remember my daughters. Remember my children, Lord. Remember my home, my wife, my marriage. Remember. Remember the church. Remember ministry. Remember our forefathers. Remember them, Lord. Tell the Lord to remember us. Tell the Lord to remember you. Tell the Lord to remember you. For when you, you will cry to the Lord, when God remember Noah, Yes, God began to move. In Jesus' name we pray. You do understand why I said that you should ask God to remember you. Now, if you look into, into verse 15, jump with me to verse 15. Verse 15 of the same chapter 8 now says this. God remember Noah. Now listen to what happened. After God remember you, God is going to speak. And once God speak to you, not in his anger, it's a blessing. Now listen to what the Bible says. And God spake unto Noah saying, God spake unto Noah saying, I said to you, blessing means what? The good word of God. God is going to speak good word to somebody's life today. And those who are watching me online also, God is going to speak something good to your life. And God spoke unto Noah saying, go forth of the ark. It is time to come out from lockdown. Let me tell you one thing. Do you think what is going on in the whole world today is just only physical? Do you think that the devil doesn't have hands in it? Remember, I said to you on January 1st, I said, please write all the names and the names of your family and the names of everybody you love. I said, write them out. I said, I saw a strange disease. I said, God is saying to me, there must be a divine protection. I said, I know we are doing, we will do anointing service, but I said, I want you to write your name and dip it inside what? Honey. Why? So that you will not experience bitter. You will not cry bitter cry. Say, I refuse to cry bitter cry. It was strange. They said, small tiny thing is what they use to destroy a powerful person. Small thing. Non-tangible. Presidents cannot tame COVID. Machines, nuclear bomb can't affect COVID. All the billions and trillions they spend on warfare budget cannot arrest COVID. Russia, China, America, Britain, France, Germany, put all of them together. All the heads of nations, they have no head over COVID. 
want something that nobody has been able to capture. Oh my goodness me. But what he has forgotten is that water too cannot be captured. You can't tie water. You can't hold water. There's a spirit of God. Listen to this. And he put the whole world under what? Lockdown. He put everybody inside home. God said, I'm going to make you, I put you in an ark. And I put the ones I've chosen to put in the ark. Nobody will move upon the face of the earth. Nobody will trade. Nobody will do anything. I will bring flood and the flood will destroy. I'm not saying it's God that brought the COVID. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that God is also using everything to speak to us. That the evil, the cruelty, the wickedness on the face of the earth today is worse than the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible says you were made in carbon in gold in everything. The iniquity was found in you. The iniquity of the devil itself. I don't think it's I as our own iniquity. Man had become desperately what? Wicked. To the extent that every blessing has to be cursed. They are trying to curse every blessing. If you are happy, somebody is mad because you are happy. If you are making it, somebody is mad because you are making it. If you are sleeping, somebody is mad because you are sleeping. If you say, I want to rest, somebody is mad because you are resting. Now, if you say, I'm going to walk, somebody is mad because you are going to walk. If you say, okay, you don't want to go to work, you want to stay at home, somebody is mad also. Because you, someone who has no job, you would think nobody should hate you. No, they want you to die, not to live. Why is it that the heart of man is desperately wicked? I look at the face of the sky. When I look at the sky, in, 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 my, in my house, when planes are going by or flying by, I look at them and I see them as a tiny object in the sky. It's like they occupy nothing in the sky space. Then I realize how amazing, how amazing our God is. In other words, if everybody in the whole world wants to fly in the sky, there is space for everybody to fly. Why then do we hate each other? Why then do we do this evil? This is one reason why God chose Noah and he chose both male and female, the sons of Noah and the wife of Noah and their wives to represent male and female and the children. And he took every animal, two of a kind, and he want to start again, start what? A new. Tell somebody it's a new beginning. After the lockdown, there must be a new beginning. It must be a new heart. It must be a new way. It must be a new glory. It must be a new blessing. God said, I'm giving you the power to have a new beginning. Blessing is the power of new beginning. That's what God told him. Hear what the Bible says. And he said, go forth on the ark. You are going to start new. Thou and thy wife. So it's not only me. Including my wife. Including my son. Including you and your family too. Including my family that are spiritual. He said, go out or go forth out of the ark. Because it's not enough for us to say we are the children of God. They must see the manifestation of the blessing. Hallelujah. God has sent us out into the world. He sent us at the ark. It's a covenant. They represent also God, Christ. So he represents mercy. He said, go out of the ark now. Go and show the world that you are the blessed one. Hallelujah. So step out of every lockdown. Of every bondage. Of every chain. Of every spiritual prison, of every mind prison, of every mental prison, of every material prison, of every emotional prison, of every cast step out in the name of Jesus. God says a new world, new beginning. And then he said, Go forth, go forth, thy sons, thy sons' wives with thee. In you know what God is saying, generational blessing. Then he said, Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee. You know the world say, Everything with me shall be blessed. Of all flesh, when I fowl, when I cattle, everything that liveth, that creepeth, that I name myself upon, that I say it belongs to me, must be blessed. They say that they may breathe abundantly in the earth and be one fruitful, multiply upon the earth. Noah went forth, so you need to step out in Jesus' name. Now listen to this. And Noah build an altar. That's why I want us to do the altar of praise now. He built an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled. God must smell it today. And God smelled. That's a sweet savour. Remember, all this while, nobody can burn anything. Nobody could light any fire. Nobody could raise any altar. You remember, 
they were under lockdown. And the water was upon the face of the earth. So for Noah, raising the altar, he said, God, I thank you. This is a new thing. The first time an altar is being raised since the judgment. And God smelled it a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart, in his heart, you think God doesn't have a heart. He has a heart. Hallelujah. His heart towards me is what good. In other words, blessing. I will not again what? Curse the ground. Do you understand now? All these things was the enemy of what? Blessing. See, every manifestation of any kind of curse in my life, in my business, in my career, in my marriage, in my church, in my ministry, in my destiny, be wiped off by the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to wipe them off. The blessing of God must wipe them off. In Jesus' name we pray. If you look at this, the Bible says, I will not again tell somebody, God said you will not again allow any cause to swallow me and my family. Say no cause shall swallow the everlasting ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. This is what he said. He said it's going to be what? A new beginning. He said I will not again cause the ground uh, 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 cause the ground anymore for man's sake. <laughs> for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. I know their imagination is still evil. But I will make my blessing because when God bless you, he will not impute the sin against you. What it means is that he will not allow the wages of sin, which is death, to finalize the person. That's why he said it. And people don't understand. That's why he can pick Abraham. That is also at sin. He can pick them and bless them. But while yet men were sinners, God, because he loved man, the world so much. Hear this. The Bible tells you that God hates the world. No, God does not hate the world. For God so loved the world that he gave that his only begotten son. He gave man blessing. See, so that they have life and have what? He said they should have eternal life. In other words, they must live because cause always kill anything that is living. Say any cause. A sign to kill my, my blessing. A sign to neutralize my life. You are a liar. Be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say my ground, my home, my career, my businesses, our church shall not be cast in the name of Jesus. Is the word of God. Now, it's even from their youth, they have imaginations that are terrible. Neither will I again smite anymore every living thing as I've done. In other words, there's going to be what? A new beginning. While the earth remains, sit and harvest. Say, sit and harvest. Must manifest in my life. Say, sit time and others. You don't understand what I've just asked you to do. In other words, you will not labor loss. When we labor, we must others. When we plow, when we sow, we must reap. Amen. Say, sit time and others. According to the word of God, we never cease in my life. Cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease in my life. Because if day and night cease, the person is dead. If summer and winter sees, the person is not going forward. He's stagnated in one position. We'll come back to that another day. The Bible says, it shall not what cease. Because why Noah, you are going to have a new beginning. But for you to have this wonderful new beginning, see what he said in chapter 9, verse 1. And God blessed Noah. You need the power of blessing. Because the power of blessing gives you what? A new beginning. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. Hear what the Bible says. Go to the book of Isaiah chapter 43. Hear what the Bible says. God will do a new thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear what the Bible says. Remember ye not the former things. We will not remember the troubles. Will not remember the tribulations, will not remember the poverty, will not remember the stagnation, will not remember the barrenness, will not remember the failure, 
will not remember the tri tribulations, will not, will not remember the strifes, but we shall go into a new thing. He said, no, neither consider the thing of old. God will wipe them off from today in Jesus' name. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? In other words, not only it's not going to be a story, but there will, shall be a manifestation. It shall spring forth and shall not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. If God makes a way in the wilderness for somebody, you know you are blessed. If he makes a way, a way in the world and give you water in the desert, rivers in the desert, it means that what you are blessed. I want you to begin to cry to God for a new beginning. And let's raise the altar. Our altar is the altar of praise. Just as Noah did, we will raise their altar also. We will do it first and foremost. We will go forth in this um, um, we'll be mixing them in both Africa or to we do African praises first and then when Pastor Lau will then lead us because and if you are not born again and if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are, you are listening to me now I want you to understand everybody can go to a party to dance but they dance for themselves they dance for people they dance for mates they dance for you to look at them it does not bring them anything but I want you to dance for Jehovah God. And for you all dance, for your worship to be accepted. It's important for you to give a life to him. Oh, but they don't worship God. He danced before God. And he was blessed mightily. He danced before the ark because he believed God. And Obedon's children were listed in the book Chronicles because they were converted as Jews. They became Israelites. They became the blessed children of God. They walked, they served. But then if you go and read your Bible very well, so if you want to give your life to you, just can just place your hand on your hand. I just say this after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father Lord, for blessing me. I thank you for your mercy today. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I renounce Satan. I renounce his work. I renounce his own all over my life. From today henceforth, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Bless me. Give me a new beginning. Fill me afresh with your spirit. Write my name in the book of life and lead me into thy kingdom. And so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure you find a church around whatever you are and worship with love. But today, praises is what God takes. It gives God pleasure. It gives God honor. It means you appreciate His blessing. Ab Noah, Abraham, they all raise altar of praises. I want us to raise the altar of praises today to thank the Lord and for a new beginning. Of God, with the blessings of the Lord, my hands are filled. My hands are filled with the blessings of God. With the blessings of the Lord, every night, surely shall be blessed. Shall be blessed. My hands are filled with the blessings of God. My hands are filled with the blessings of God. My hands are filled. My hands are filled. Wow. 
Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus, command the prison door, command the spiritual doors that have been locked against our life to be opened in the name of Jesus. Every power that locked away our blessing, every bondage that locked away our blessing, every cause that been like a prison locking blessings, but I command them to fall in the name of Jesus. As you say to Noah, step out. Step out into a new beginning. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, command our social body to step into a new beginning. You are the God who started it. And you completed it. You stopped the flood. You stopped the lockdown. You stopped the trouble. You stopped the tribulation. Father, likewise, oh Lord, stop every problem in our lives. Open your book of remembrance for us. As we raise your altar of praise and thanksgiving for you today, Lord. My Lord and my God, let our blessing go in and out with us in the name of Jesus. In the night, let us be blessed. In the day, let us be blessed. In the morning, noon, let us be blessed. For our Lord, cause everything that belongs to us to be blessed. You are the God who started it, O oh Lord. Bring that blessing, Lord, to completion in the name of Jesus. So that shall be a fruit of blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. And amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Come on now, if you can do better than that. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Just praise him, just praise him. Even at your home, put your hands together for the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we'll share this grace together in fellowship. And let the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall join in us of love forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name.